a few weeks ago, I made my first website with an interactive 3D model. And it was done without touching a line of coding. Today, I'll share my experience of building the website. But first, let me tell you what tools I used. Several months ago, I received a message from Dora. Now, Dora is an awesome platform that allows designers to make animated functional websites that supports 3D models all without any coding. I used Dora to build a game design website, add 3D and animate a beautiful parallax effect. I used the help of Midjourney to generate images and a bit of Photoshop to edit those. Before we jump to Dora, let's get the assets ready. But first, I need some inspiration that usually starts with cleaning my space. Now to the really interesting stuff. Before I thought of the idea of using Midjourney, I tried a few free to use image websites, but I couldn't find anything that had the game of I was going for. So I jumped to Midjourney and I typed in this prompt. I generated a set of images and picked the one I liked best. Next, I dragged it into Photoshop, added some mountains, rocks and expanded the image to better fit our parallax effect. For all of the stuff I just did, you can easily use Stable Diffusion for free as well. Before we finish up with Photoshop, I separated the images into multiple layers so it can help with the parallax effect. Now I needed a hero to be the center of attention so I looked for 3D models that fit the profile. After a bit of looking, I found the 3D model you've seen at the beginning of the video. I downloaded its GLB files to use in Dora. Next, I made a concept in Figma to be used as reference, but it was so much more useful than reference when I found out that we can import Figma designs directly into Dora. Finally, where did it work in Dora? I'll share a summary of how I built it, but if you want the full time lapse, it's linked in the description. First, I imported the images rename the layers and move them into place. Next, I made the layers responsive since it's an important step that should be done before animating. The playhead is similar to the scroll function of a website. Moving it right scrolls down and moving it left scrolls up. With this in mind, I position the layers to follow the script. We want the layers on top to move faster than the layers at the bottom to achieve the parallax effect. For the next section, I wanted to introduce the character, so I added a description and animated a really cool fill effect to the text to motivate reading the intro. I did this by duplicating the same text and animating the mask. We also want our players to know characters' special abilities, so I imported my design from Figma and added it as well. Below this, I added a fake video of the character to tease the gameplay mechanics. For the ending, I added a section revealing when to expect the character. We are almost done, so I finalized the website by uploading the 3D model and positioning it above the text. I thought our character should look back at the explosion when she flies down, so I rotated her 180 degrees for that section. And the website is complete. Working in Dora was a delightful experience and I included all the steps in my time-lapse video. Enjoy the reveal. 